Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Arlene and I'm a mom of three. And today's video is the long awaited classroom setup um, for our distance learning. I set up my kitchen into a little mini classroom and we are so excited. The table is where we will be sitting. So I left that kind of blank and we also eat on that table. So I kind of left my napkins and whatnot, but this is how I set it up. We are so excited. We cannot wait to start on Wednesday. I hope you enjoy. Tell me what you like in the comments and let's jump into it. All right, so when we start off, this is my living room, um, my couch. I have my TV on this, their little exercise area. So we have the treadmill. This was actually in the corner over there. Um, and I go. I went and put all of our workout stuff right in front because I covered the closet, which that's what was in there. Um, and I just put it out in the front so that we can use that to for uh, PE exercise. And then we use the yoga mat and then there's like weights um, and like stretching stuff and that inside the bin. And then right here we have just the kids table, Mr. Blippi Man. Um, and then this is my desk area. Um, I just bought this for Alex and his stuff. And then I went and I bought a planner. Um, yes, I'm obsessed with planners, so we'll see uh, soon, hopefully, that. Uh, the mouse pad is from Amazon, my computer. And then this section just holds my printer, my Cricut machine, and then this top part has our, well, my pens, uh, markers, and then pencils. And then this is just like a journal I've been using for like a Bible study. And then this back one I found on Teachers Pay Teachers. I bought the folder. It's the home learning booklet. And it just has so many math stuff. And it also comes with like the teacher, uh, like what we should do. And then this one's from Target. Uh, bought two on accident don't tell Tony but I'm gonna keep them because I love them and yeah so I just hold regular paper in this one and then some school paper in this one so far I actually wanted to put our bills in this one and then the schoolwork in this one and then I actually hold paper here and then extra stuff in here this is an Ikea uh, shoe rack but for me I have oh, I had this board my Cricut vinyl here. I don't have a lot right now. I've been using a lot lately. So I have that there. These were some extra stuff that I printed out from last year. Extra notebooks. And then we have clipboards. I was going to give this one to Alex for a preschool um, one. And then an extra whiteboard. Here we have my old planner. And then I have all kinds of cardstock. We have some fake flowers. That's from um, Dollar Tree. And then we have this gold little thing right here that I got years ago. Here's a little po pointer, some rulers, and then just some extra stuff. We have some chalk here, uh, a little sharpener. And then I got this gold rack from Michaels. It was actually on sale for $3, so I picked that up. And then I have just some extra stuff and then post-its and then some dots. And then um, in this one, I just have some stuff. So I have math. Um, we have some alphabet dot ones. Again, I printed a lot of stuff off of the Teachers Pay Teachers. So if you go to that website, you can find a lot of stuff from there. Then I also have... Um, Ari like practicing her handwriting. I'm very um, a big person on like penmanship So I have been having her practice We have this right here chalkboard. It's actually a mirror, <laughs> but I painted it um, To be a chalkboard and then the greenery is from the, the dollar section last year I got the alphabets up on top. They didn't fit all the way So I had to drop them low and then do it that way um, and they all fit pretty nicely. They all hold up, except the C. For some freaking reason, it wouldn't hold up. And I had to um, pin it. <laughs> I got a whiteboard. And then um, I just figured I could use the letter of the day and the number of the day with these little clips that I made. Uh, there's my pin and my magnets. I have today's weather because I want 
her to pick out the, the today's weather. We have right here is just a printout and I put it onto a little ring and we can go through the shapes with the kids. We are gonna put the sight words here. And then this is the recent post poster that I got. And then we went in and put the whole month so you can see how it looks. The months are again from teacher paid teacher. Out. And then here is the United States of America, but I really like it and we wanna learn sign language. So I got that. And then this is where we are holding all of our stuff. So I have markers, colored pencils, um, these are stamps, and then crayons. And then I got this cart from Michaels. This first section just has the extras, some extra stuff so that we are prepared. So it, it's like this, I have money here, I have those little um, refills and then the next one this has all like if she was to need to use um, gluing or anything cutting this one has it and then this is like our craft one next is like our paints all of our paints this is our puzzle stuff sounds empty I was thinking of putting extra um, work that she hasn't finished that she wants to finish in there next is her math stuff so this is like math um, things that we have for her. This is Alex's crayons, his box of crayons. Uh, stickers, puzzles, and then color books. So that's in this cart. And I took the bar stools out and I took those um, and put those in the closet. And I just printed out the money So because we, she is trying to learn about money. So I put the money there. And then that's the work that she's done. She made dominoes. And then the alphabet. That one's crooked. I have to fix it. Just bought these Bob's books off someone on offer up. And I'm so excited. It's the beginning one. So hopefully it works. I don't know. So this is just there. Um, this is our catch all. So um, that's my wallet. This side right here. This is a bookshelf from Ikea. So this first bin, I can't really show you what's inside because it's uh, my husband's work, but he works for the county, so he keeps all of his work up there because he does work from home. So he keeps his files up there. And then this one has all of the stuff he would need. So like his hole punch, his stapler, stuff like that, all that's in there. Any chargers go in there too. Then the next one, I got this off of um, teachers pay teachers. It was free and it says home sweet classroom. I love that. So I got it um, This is from Target and then this is all play-doh stuff um, all of their crap or play-doh. So there's that The second shelf this is all this is how I use that clear thing by the way I don't know if you remember it, but I put all of their Flashcards. So these are all our flashcards that we have. I'm actually going to go in with my label maker and label the tops. I just haven't done that yet. And then we have some popsicle sticks. Here is a dice that I found at the Dollar Tree. There is the clock. Here are Play-Doh. Um, and then our little eraser. Well, I'm going to skip that shelf and I'll show you after. But then we have this shelf right here and it has just our books. These are some new books that I just got off offer up. We love books. We don't turn books down. But I have my laminator right here. These are sectioned off because they are more of learning books. The, um, the R Solar System, the ones that I showed you previously, and then I also have like wild animals, animals, whales, zooborns, helping, helpers in your neighborhood, at the beach, slots, any learning type uh, book I put there. And this is her crate for school. So this is what they gave her um, for curriculum. So they gave her her two books, um, her whiteboard. I put her other like journal stuff and everything in this folder. But that's all her stuff. And so she can pull it out. And when she's doing her schoolwork, she can have all her stuff. I also put 
her stuff that they gave her in a clear bin. So she has her mouse, her pencils, erasers, crayons, and her whiteboard markers, and then her headphones. So when she's working with her teacher, she'll bring that out. But when she's working with me, I have this bin. So I got the bin from Target. These are their um, drawing paper board things. Oh, Hello Kitty. Um, and so we did those and they loved them. So we're gonna do that again. Um, again, you've seen this book. We loved it last year. So we're gonna go ahead and do that one again. We had these from last year. So this one's just a printing one and you can just erase it. It's pre-K, but she never finished it. So we're gonna go ahead and finish that off. And then I found this on Amazon, which it just shows her learning sight words, which I really love. And it's wipeable. You've seen the alphabet puzzle one that I got her previously. I wanted to incorporate the three minute gratitude journal. I've seen a couple people do this and I want to do it with her. So I thought this was this would be really cool to do. These are their morning binders. I'll go ahead and show you more detail if you'd like. Just leave me a comment down below that you'd like to see it or like this video to let me know that you like to see what's inside or what I keep inside. So, kind of showing you just like a little bit what we work on. And so far, she likes the idea. We have not tried it with her yet. She has not worked on it but we will be working on that one for Aubrey. And then this one's Alex's. I was working on it today, so I'm not done yet. I'm not forcing him to learn any of it, but I thought it'd be a good idea to start. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos from us. I'm going to be posting a lot more about distance learning. This is a new adventure for us, and we are so excited to start it. We start August 5th, so we shall see how it all turns out. And I hope you guys follow along with us. And yeah, until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.